How much of the Swiss Alps can I see in four days? In my backpack, I have everything I need for flying, camping, and hiking my way through the mountains. All of my equipment weighs around 20 kilos, and I'll have to carry it on my back or inside my harness during the flight. This epic, unsupported adventure through the Swiss Alps wasn't easy, with strong winds, stable valleys, tough top landings, and growing exhaustion. There was some incredible flying up to 4,000 meters over the main divide, breathtaking scenery, stunning sunsets, and magic moments. So I'm in Fisch in Switzerland. It's pretty epic here and I'm gonna go for a vol biv. So I'll be flying and camping. I've got five days. The forecast looks really good. Maybe a little bit of wind tomorrow. And the plan is to fly to the east. My objective is really isn't, isn't so much to see how far I can get, but I wanna see as much of the, the country as I can. It's gonna be a bit of an adventure. I'm gonna be camping, I'm gonna be uh, doing a lot of hiking probably, flying in places that I've never flown before. We'll bring you along for the journey. Currently looking pretty pretty stable at the moment. There's uh, one or two other gliders that are further down there. They're just sort of waiting for it to get better, I guess. It's still early, it's only half 10. So I'll probably wait until about 12. Not fussed about going super far. Um, I'd rather wait and uh, make sure that I can stay up. The idea is to try and avoid hiking where possible. It's got quite a heavy bag. The bag's about 20 kilos. So if I can uh, top land and camp and not land in the valley and have to walk up again, that's gonna be good. This is Fisch down here. And I'm hoping that I can climb up high enough that I can see the glacier that's behind the ridge behind me. But the plan is to go this way. And there is nice clouds actually forming up the range. So yeah, should be good. So this is a quick look at all of the gear that I've brought with me. It's all just kind of laid out. It's my tent, the sleeping pad, the sleeping bag, Got solar, two 10,000 milliamp batteries, got some food. Maybe I'll show you more of the food at camp later. It's all in just in that bag. Got some cheese and a bit of bread for the first few days. Lots of electronics uh, so I can film everything. My little cooker and this is my glider. Just in there, the Zeolite and uh, the BV-1. And we are off! Here we go, I'm off! For a Volbiv. I'm in the Swiss Alps. It's beautiful here, I'm on my first glide. Just passing the foot of this glacier. I started from Fisch, and uh, I've got a fairly loose plan of Today I'm going to head east uh, and just try and stay in the air for most of the day if I can. I would have liked to do this glide a bit higher, but there is someone climbing out in front, so uh, hopefully I can uh, get up. Yeah, cool. All right, I'm up at 3,000 meters. And um, it's working quite well. Just gonna put the gloves on, to get myself set up for the day. Pretty cold up here. Glad I got the mitts. The first objective is to get out of the Rhone. All right, gloves are on. It's the Furka Pass that I've got to get over. So I guess I've got to go towards the Grimsel Pass and then scoot around. That's the first objective. But it's looking on for it. Looks pretty good. Unbelievable. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I can see over the main divide out to the flats. Phew! It's looking good to keep going. Gonna move down this ridge line and 
hopefully get through the Furka Pass. Three thousand two hundred meters. I was up at three six for a, for a bit, and I'm going to fly to this ridge. Hopefully, I can get a climb, and it's enough to get me over the Furka Pass. Could try and go that way, hoping to get something here. Oh, my hands are cold. But yeah, so far so good. Spectacular views, just ridiculous. I drove up through here last night and I camped down there. Oh, it was a bit weird. It was pouring over that saddle and now it's headwind coming down here. So I think I'm going to land here. So I'm going to try and get up to that top part up there. And then uh, maybe fly off the other side. All right, so I've walked up out of the lee. I'm gonna have another fly from here. And the plan is to see if I can soar up this because the wind's coming this way. And then maybe try and get on that and then over. Otherwise, if I'm not going up, then I maybe I can beeline for the pass and slope land over there and then just walk over the pass. I'm gonna take off and Give it a crack. I know I can land down there if I really need to, but I don't want to because it's a long walk. Right, I'm gonna have to slope land here, see if I can land it a little bit further up so I don't. Okay. through here putting valley winds coming across and up over towards uh, Ferka Pass and need to try and get climb up and get out of it and get re-established again down so making a, trying to make a move over to the other side here oh, stupid Oh, that was kind of frustrating. I almost got up there, but, um, and then when I pushed, I kept pushing further and, uh, I couldn't get anything. And it was just the valley winds pushing across. Um, I think it, maybe if I stuck with that a little bit, I would have been able to get up a bit higher. And then I ran back to try and get it again. And then I didn't get it again. And I was just in the valley wind. And then I came in and landed here, which was a pretty shit landing actually. And there, uh, so yeah, now the plan is to, walk up, go for a hike, with the thought of maybe getting an evening flight in. I've got to try and get to the next pass, if I can. But uh, we'll see how the hike goes. So I've been walking for about an hour, and I'm gonna take off from here. And uh, probably the last flight of the day. Gonna give it a go, I'm gonna fly off, and try and get onto this over here. And if I can get up there, it'd be amazing, but I don't think I will. And you know, I'm probably just going to try and get as far up the valley as I can. Then I'll camp up there. But if I'm really lucky, I'll get a climb. But I'm not overly hopeful. Come on, lucky thermal. Come on! No! 
No! Give me a climb! Shame. That would have been a nice climb if I'd got one. I didn't get the lucky climb. Bit of a glide that saved me a bit of walking. Now I'm back walking up the hill. And I don't know if I'm going to try and maybe make the pass. There's a pass I could get an evening flight off down on the other side, potentially. It looks windy tomorrow, northerly, so I kind of would prefer to be on the other side tomorrow. So I don't think I'll get to fly here. Might be better off on the other side. Otherwise I could camp up here, potentially try and fly down in the morning. Oh, it was amazing flying over all the glaciers and up at like 3,600 meters. That was epic. We'll see what the rest of the day has in store, but certainly a bit of walking, fill up the water, find somewhere to camp. It's five o'clock, so I've got about four hours before dark. Yeah, go across the river. Oh, it was good to wash the feet. <laughs> I think I should make the pass within an hour. Hopefully I can glide off the other side. That'll be a nice evening flight. If you're enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Oh, just having a little sit down. I've nearly made the saddle. It's only uh, only about 50 meters uh, higher. But uh, good to take the weight off the back. This uh, bag is pretty uh, pretty heavy. Well, it's feeling pretty heavy now. That was a <clears throat> decent enough hike, and I'm looking forward to hopefully a nice glide and then a good night's sleep. Hopefully it's flyable on the other side. <laughs> Otherwise I have to camp somewhere up here. Oh, getting tired now. Oh, so I've made it to the pass. It's not flyable here. It's all pouring over. I'm gonna walk down a bit and see maybe I can lob off lower down, but otherwise I'm just gonna set up camp somewhere here on this side. Pretty tired now. Oh, I found a campsite for the night. This will do. It's nice and flat. Pretty uh, epic backdrop of the rock face up there. Um, <clears throat> I'm a bit sheltered from the wind here because it's sunk down a wee bit. And yeah, I'm just gonna set up the tent and uh, make some dinner. It's about half seven, so we've got a couple hours of daylight left. Uh, I'm gonna make a, make a feed and set up camp. Mashed potato, salami, coming back. Delicious. I've climbed into bed now. It was a more challenging day than I was expecting. I think I kind of stuffed it up coming into uh, the valley uh, that on the other side of the Furka Pass. I probably should have just tried to fly over the main chain had a bit of a tough time getting over the pass and then when i did get through then i couldn't really make anything work and there was a bunch of low cloud that eventually formed um down in the valley so i think it was probably just not the right place to be and then i hiked up over the pass and uh yeah couldn't, it's just pouring over the top so it couldn't fly off uh, i might try and do that in the morning but i need to look at the forecast and make a plan at the moment it's not looking great like the last time i checked it looked like there was a bit of wind around not horrendous amounts but enough that it's gonna make the day quite challenging i think so should be another tough day tomorrow <laughs>
it's the morning. So I'm just sort of packing up camp, making some breakfast. I've had a coffee already. I'm gonna head down the ridge this way with the intention of taking off and flying further to the east. But um, the forecast has improved overnight, so that's really good news. Um, so I'm expecting I'm gonna be able to fly. It's currently pouring through the saddle. I mean, it's only, it's just not even eight o'clock yet, but um, I'm gonna walk along the ridge and I reckon after that spine, there should be another a nice takeoff. Maybe I aim for about 11, 12 o'clock. Nice, beautiful though. Great night's sleep. All right, I found my takeoff. It's only about 20 minutes walk from camp. And uh, my plan is to fly down this way, but I can see the clouds are pouring over the top a wee bit. So it could be a little bit lee side, but it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> And then I'll just try and fly that way and see what happens. Don't really know where I'm going. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just try not to land in the valley. So I've just been sat here watching the clouds and it's uh, it looks pretty challenging. So I'm on the lee side. The forecast is for the wind to be the lightest between now and 12. And then after 12, it starts picking up. So I'm probably going to set up and go soon because it does look unstable. Um, and it's my best chance of getting a bit of distance in the air. Um, but I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to get because it's inverted further down the valley. Um, so maybe I can just hop a couple of ridges and then I don't think I'll be flying this afternoon because it looks too windy. Low expectations, gonna play it safe. Tomorrow looks like a better day. So hopefully just, you know, a, a short flight this morning, hiking this afternoon, camping, and then tomorrow, hopefully a better flight. Oh. Oh. And we're off. I've climbed up after launch and I'm making my way east along this valley. The air doesn't feel too bad at the moment. Pretty stunning in here. So I've got low expectations today. I'm just gonna try and get towards Balanzona, I think is the plan. But I'm not expecting to make it all the way there. And I've broken a brake line on that rocky launch, just one of the cascades. So there's two gone on that side now. So probably need to think about trying to repair that somehow. I've made a move across the valley here. I'm going to try and climb there. And if it doesn't work, then I might land at this little lake and go for a swim. We'll see. Ah, oh, so it was a decision there. I thought about going and landing down there, but I've decided to keep pushing this way, but it does look like a dead end. It looks horrifically stable down the end there. You can see by the, the haze. But I'm going to try and scoot around this corner. And then if it doesn't work, I'm going to land in one of those fields there and then go for a hike somewhere. Wow, I got this mega climb. I'm up at 2,900 meters. So I'm in a much better position now. It doesn't seem too much. 
Bit of a wind drift up here, but not horrendous. And I've got an opportunity to cross the valley. I don't think I'm going to though. And uh, I think I'm just gonna follow these ridges. Incredible. What a place to fly. I'm thinking about landing here. Looks a bit shit further down that way. Well, that worked. Oh, good. I decided to call it quits for the day because it looks a bit, maybe it would keep working further down, but I'm quite happy with uh, so gonna go for a walk. That was good. That was a nice flight. Definitely worthwhile. No. Oh, beautiful up here. All right. I'm fed and watered, and uh, I think I probably landed a bit too early because it does look still pretty good. I can't really see too much wind. Certainly no wind here. This looks like a great day. Trusted too much in the forecast, maybe. I mean, there's a bit of wind at the top, but not howling by any means. Hmm, I'm gonna stick with my decision though. And I'm gonna walk across the ridge and get myself a nice campsite and set up on a south face for tomorrow. Well, I've found somewhere to camp and I'm just doing some sunbathing. <laughs> oh, I probably feel like I'm on holiday now. Nice to have a light out and just chill out. I'm well positioned for a good start tomorrow. I've got a southeast face, and uh, I think I might try and head towards Decentis tomorrow, and then maybe Thursday try and fly back to Fish. I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Comfy as. Chilling out. Whew. Happy. What's for dinner? You guessed it. Flying through the lee. It's white capping on that on that lake. Oh, the views up here are just ridiculous. Oh, that was pretty intense. Got the heart rate rate going. What an incredible day. Ah. Oh.